Hey y'all, I am back and I have more text message horror stories that I'm actually really excited to read today. I never thought I would say that. But it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these videos and I actually tried to film one of these videos a couple weeks ago and the stories were so fucking bad and not bad in the sense that like it had a bad plot or it's bad like the rest of the stories we've read because obviously they're all bad, but they were so incredibly boring that I couldn't bring myself to upload the video because I was editing and I was like, I think I can't do this. So we're gonna read more today and we're just gonna hope and pray that they are not nearly as boring. So I'm gonna scoot on over and we're gonna scroll like all the way down because we need to get to stories that we have not read yet. And I think to honor my hospital visit on Tuesday, we're gonna read hospital horror. While we're down, just a smidgen, come on, better. Anna, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I got out of time. Where are you? Still in the building. I was about to get out when the earthquake stopped. Luckily, we managed to move the patients out of the building between the first and second one. Thank God it's a small hospital. I know. Doctor, are you coming soon? We're all in the A section now. Oh, it crashed. Meh. We're all in the A section now. We need you here so that you can authorize some documents. We need to transfer back to the B and C section. I am hurrying up. Tap to view... What's the point? What is the point? What is the point? Though, I recommend to wait for a couple of hours there, just to be sure. All right, sir. Anna, are you sure you evacuated everybody in the building? Yes, sir. After the first earthquake, we started evacuating, and we did a countdown. I'm pretty sure everybody's here. That's weird. Why? I keep hearing something. Are you sure it's not the wind? Or any machine? No, no, no. I know how people sound. Sound. <laughs> There's somebody still here. Oh, no, sir. I don't know how to do that face. I don't even know what to say. Where is the noise coming from? That's the strange bit. I was on the first floor when I heard it, but I can't see anybody here. Sir, what if it's the taker? The what? The taker. You know, from the story. You know, from the story. The only story. The story. The taker. The story. Anna, I got no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry, sir. I forgot. You're rather new. And stupid. The Taker is a ghost that is said haunts the hospital. Ah, so that's the name of the legend. Yes, sir. Look, Anna, such things aren't real. I'd love to agree with you, but many people claim they have seen him. You know Martha? She's seen it. And Andrew. And the cleaning ladies. Even Dr. Rothman. I'm pretty sure this is not a ghost, Anna. It must be a patient. But I checked the first floor and nothing. Tap to view, it's gonna be an empty hospital. I called it. It's hard being as smart as I am with these really predictable stories. I thought the noise was coming from here. I'll go check the second floor. BRB. Okay, sir, just be careful. I know you don't believe in me, but I'm not lying. That's the first step before seeing the taker. You start hearing things. He also appears when people are alone. And sir, you're alone in the building. I can't believe being so smart you all believe these things. Why don't you check the list? I wanna know who it might be. It's taking me time to find this person. I checked the list already. There's nobody missing. All 65 patients are here. And all the staff. It's very weird. I keep hearing someone. He sounds like he's complaining. He sounds in pain. I'm sure he's a patient. No, please don't go there. Go where? Where are we going? That sounds just like the taker. Anna? What did I say? Those things aren't real. But it is. You're new. That's why you don't know. I want to help you. Well, maybe send someone to help me. All right. I will tell the security men. Why don't you tell me the story of the taker? He used to be a medicine student. The best of his class. This all happened in the 1960s. One day he had an accident and he became blind. Also, half his face got disfigured. After that, he could not operate anymore or become a doctor. He started to wear a mask, hiding his appearance, but that's not the worst part. He smuggled into the hospital and tried to operate, experiment with unconscious patients. Come on now, that has to be fake, but he got discovered. They tried to stop him, but it was impossible. He was determined and dangerous. At the end, the only option was killing him. That seems a little drastic. I don't think that was your only option. I'm on the last floor. Doctor, stop it. If you see him, tap to view. And what do you know? Another empty hospital picture. I'm so glad that they're putting these in here. That looks weird. It's darker than the rest. The noises are coming from there. Please go away. Don't let it see you. I'm going in. No, doctor! I don't want my brother to hear me. I'm honestly like, cause he's, I could hear him in the kitchen. I don't want him to hear like, what the fuck is she reading right now? No, doctor. If you see him, there's no going back. 
Oh my god, okay, I can't lie, this is like one of the creepiest pictures and one of the best as well because it actually matches the story. That's creepy as fuck. It's him. Doctor, be careful, get out. Two minutes later. What was that? It's impossible. He's real? Yes. Where are you now, Doc? I ran away. The guards are looking for you now. What was the other thing? The one who looked like a patient. Oh. Oh. That's the person he practiced on. He's also a ghost. He didn't do anything to me, though. Why? He normally doesn't do anything. You are making it sound so dramatic like he was going to die, and now you're saying he didn't- Eh, no, he doesn't actually do anything to you. It's just kind of creepy. The problem is that once you see him, he can't be unseen. We can't let patients know about this. This hospital barely gets patients. We can't afford losing them. I agree. Like the story, share with your friends. That wasn't that creepy, but honestly, that was one of the better stories I think we've ever read on this channel. And that's saying something. Okay, and we'll read one more. We're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom yet again. Okay, let's do... Hmm, I don't want to read one with two sections. I really don't want... Hmm. Let's read the trap. You there? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're texting me. I mean, I've moved out. I don't understand. What I'm saying is, my mom and I have packed up, and we moved out of our apartment. Where will you move? To a beautiful house in the mountains. Why didn't you tell me? Sorry, didn't have the time. Was busy hurrying for the move. Okay, we were talking just last night, and you hadn't mentioned it to me, that you guys were moving out. I was planning to visit you. I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were planning to visit. Yes, I was. I didn't know that you were planning to visit. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Don't worry. Visit me in the new place. Really? Sure. That's nice of you. I'll give you the address. 13 Villa Hermano Uno. No, the ag- I'm white. I'm so white. I'll check it out when I visit your country. I prefer that you visit me here than in my previous home. What does your new house look like? It looks beautiful. I only saw one picture of it. It's beautiful. I've only seen one photo. In an advertisement on the internet. My old home has nothing on it. My old home is small and poor. Doesn't even look like a home. It looks like a burned cardboard box. Square and flat with stained walls. That was my old home. And my neighbors were always noisy. Been dying to leave that place. My mom and I will do anything to live anywhere but that ugly home. You're really rude. Stop being so mean to your poor little house. Price of our new house is... Really looking for poor tenants like us? What? I feel lucky to find this place. We took this house in one day. So that's why you didn't mention it. Last night. Why did they have to do that? Yes, still didn't know about it last night. Had to take it before anyone else did because it was so cheap and beautiful. We're almost there now. We're driving up a steep road. There are tall grasses on both sides. Not just one side, it's on both, bitch. There are no houses and few vehicles. There are a few commuter vehicles. Who just sends a photo like this? Who sends that shit? She doesn't care. She doesn't and we don't. We don't give a fuck. Wow, it's beautiful. You're joking. I'm glad you like it. The road? We're here already. BRB. Oh, you'll be busy unpacking. I miss you already. Three hours later. I'm back. You're fast. Have you finished unpacking? Technically, yes. We didn't unpack everything. Why? Because mom doesn't want to clutter the house. Too early. We piled up the boxes in one room. We'll open them only when we need what's inside of them. Okay, what is the house like inside? Oh, it looks like a haunted house. It has a lot of rooms and it's fully furnished. Even the grounds have furniture. This looks like the patio of a restaurant. The house is so big. There's even a back door. Wow. That leads to an open backyard. Has a view of the nearby river, distant trees and faraway cities. At least this picture makes sense. It also has a garden. Oh my god, there are so many fucking pictures and there are so many ads. But at least, again, at least this one makes sense, but the camera quality is really bad. It looks like a security camera. There's so much space. Are you scared of it? Of course not. I'm not scared of ghosts. What I'm scared of are people burglarizing this house. In fact, I'm checking the locks for the third time. You're paranoid. I just can't relax. I mean, we're new in town. We're both women. We are perfect victims of crime. Call the police. For what? Marlin? Marlon? Marlin? If something is suspicious. There we go. That's why you shouldn't send it into separate text messages, Marlin. I will. Was so excited on our way here. But now I'm overwhelmed by its vastness. Even mom is getting confused. Maybe we'll relax after a few days of stay. We might start to feel at home. 
I'll stop checking the locks repeatedly. Wait, I'll stop checking the locks repetitively. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitively. That's the word. Now, still getting to know this house. There are no bolts behind the front door. Can't be locked from the inside. There's a bolt outside the front door though. That's strange. Probably some carpentry mistake. I'm sleepy now. I guess it's time to sleep. Good night. Sleep well. You too. Four hours later. Marlin, are you there? Yes. Had enough sleep? No. A group of men broke into my house. What? Call the police. I can't. They'll hear me. My mom and I are escaping. Out of the house. We're going downstairs. Scream if you get attacked. So the neighbors will hear. Yes. I will. Oh my god, we can't get out of the front door. It's locked from the outside. That is the creepiest front door I have ever seen. And you called your old place a cardboard box, a burnt down cardboard box? This is a shithole. We're trapped. The intruders reached Charlotte and her mother. They locked up the woman inside their house and turned them into sex slaves. Oh my god. Marlon traveled to Charlotte's country as soon as possible. He called a bunch of policemen and they raided the house, rescuing Charlotte and her mother. The men were arrested and sent to prison. Is that the end? Yeah, the end. That was the shortest and most random ending ever. Got scared? Share with your friends. Was that not like the shortest one we've ever read? I feel like that was incredibly short. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm super excited. I threw this t-shirt on because I wanted to tell you guys that I'm gonna have Halloween merch coming out. I'm waiting on one piece to get here because I want to make sure that I like the design before I release it. And then I also have the same person who created this and my other piece of merch with the skateboard me. They're making me a Halloween piece and I'm so excited. It's so fucking cute. I've seen like bits and pieces of it and I've seen the sketch of it and it's gonna be incredible like i'm so fucking excited for you guys to see it so i will have halloween merch because i love halloween and then the other one is just like the sea jades with bats coming out of it so i'm waiting for that one to get here because again i want to make sure i like how it looks before i like let you guys get it i don't know exactly when they'll be out but probably soon but i'll announce it again once they're released but i'm gonna go i love you guys i will see you in the next one bye and i told you guys in my video from friday that i would show you my fall decor my fall decor, my fall decor. So I'm gonna do that now. So in my room, I just have this cute little pumpkin. That's like pretty much the only thing I have in here. My bed's not made, we ignore that. And then I have my Tyler One Stream on, which I will pause for this video. But I have a cute little pumpkin right here. I have these cute pillows that I actually got from Target. And then I love this little setup. I love my leather pumpkin, it's so fucking cute. And then I love my bookshelf as well. I got this sign at Target for like five bucks. And then I have my velvet skull and my velvet pumpkin that match. And then I have two little jars down here that I filled with flowers. Flowers. I have this cute little pumpkin too. It's like a little plush pumpkin. My cats broke it. And then I have this bad boy over here that I just put some fall leaves on and then two more pumpkins. I got some pumpkin candles. We got Jack Skellington. He's my favorite part. Just got a giant Jack Skellington. My office is definitely like the cutest, which I showed you guys before. I have that skull right there. I have Tyler one playing again, but I have these cute pillows. Like this one says trick or treat on it. Sorry, my camera box. I have another plush pill plush pumpkin. I have my flower board. I have a pumpkin. I have what? I can't I think of the name of that. Casket. I got a casket. And then I took these pictures down. Okay, I always take those down when I do Zoom, like therapy Zoom, because they're really creepy and I don't want them to see them. So I took those down. They're over there. And then outside, I got my ghosty who likes to turn around. He's supposed to just be chilling in this corner over here. But we have our inflatable booby the ghosty. And then my front door is just this cute little pumpkin my Hello Pumpkin doormat, and then I actually got this at Big Lots. It's super fucking cute with a little pumpkin on it. But that's it for the fall decor. I didn't go too crazy, but I will go crazy for Christmas, but okay, yeah, see ya.